I am currently fostering a litter of nine puppies. They're six weeks old. There is a ripple effect of kindness and of um, support. My name is Kristen Dubnoff and I live in Mendham, New Jersey. I've lived here since 1995. My husband will go to the grocery store or somewhere and we're like, oh my gosh, how is, you know, how are Lady Bird and her puppies and did Kristen work this out? And so it's kind of fun to have that connection with your community. With this whole crazy past 18 months we've had, I've had three litters and it makes people feel really good. I think it's important to stay hopeful and to try to um, find something that gives you hope. And a lot of people find hope in, in birth and a new life. One of my friends lost her husband and messaged me that the only reason she was getting out of bed was to check on the puppies. Um, people with cancer write me the same thing. It's humbling to know that you're having an impact on people's emotional um, healing. I think also about having the moms and new moms and pregnant moms. I was a single mom. I um, was single when my daughter was a year old. I think that it's healing for me also in a way to bring pregnant moms into my home, uh, single moms, and have to be able to protect them and keep them safe until they're in their loving home. Mornings are a mess. It takes me a solid hour. I'm usually in there five or six times a day for about 40 to 60 minutes because that's how long the process takes. I mean, feeding them and then cleaning the whelping box and then cleaning up while they play. And then they play and then Tallulah, my puppy, plays with them. I sit down after I finish my work and they all kind of come over and start falling asleep and then I pop them back in their whelping box. So that's really sweet. My foster room gives me a lot more opportunity to help different dogs and dogs with different needs. I sleep in the room when I have a mom in labor. I spend a lot of time in there the first few weeks. She doesn't usually need me, but just in case. And if she does need me, then I'm there. Our property is all organic. We bought the property from um, the Heyman tonight, who bought the house in 1963. And Mrs. Heyman was a botanist and an organic gardener. So we've never had any pesticides or chemicals on the property. Last year we started Peace Valley Farm. And I have a little farm stand at the end of the driveway. I planted kale and collards and squash and tomatoes and cucumbers. All of our money from the farm stand is donated. And it's not a lot. Yesterday I think I made $8. <laughs> It's about sharing an abundance with my community and creating those connections with everybody. My gosh, this is amazing. Guys, look at your new room. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, this is so special. Oh, and proper storage. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh. This mattress is incredible. I don't think I've ever felt a more beautiful, soft mattress. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, that's Hope's family. Oh. And this is my Lucky, who we lost. And this is my Tia, who we lost. And this is, this is when we were us and those five. It's really beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. This is my favorite. <laughs> because I do need to spend time with them. I love the shelf. 
to these shelves because my mamas can have their own food and water and not have the puppies eat them. <laughs> when they first have their litters and they have to spend the night in here with them, it's just, it's really beautiful. It's just so special. Thank you. Do you love your avocado bed? Have you ever seen anything better? It's all about saving lives. You know, people would say to me and to my husband, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you give, let all the dogs go. I'd adopt all the dogs. I can't foster because I'd adopt everyone. You foster because you're saving lives and you, and you make sure they're, they're going to great homes because there's value in their lives. The love between a, a human and a, a companion animal, a dog, for me is just the most special, sacred, natural bond. It's, it's truly one of the most important relationships in my life, you know, with all my dogs, with my own dogs and with my fosters. I'm Kristen and I'm a scary mommy. <laughs>